Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to my Three Takeaways episode from the Kyle Farmer interview this past Monday. That was one was super cool for me because I really looked up to Kyle and admired him when I was a few years younger than him in high school, and I think it was really cool to be able to get to know him on a deeper level and learn from him from his experiences. As a lot of you guys probably know, the minor leagues is absolutely brutal. It's such a grind because it takes so long and there are so many people in it and there are so few of chances out there for people to actually be called up. So I think it was really cool diving into all the experiences that he had with that and then diving into his story of actually finally being called up and having a walk-off hit in his first at bat. You like you can't make that stuff up. Those are stories that Everybody absolutely loves to hear it. I would really recommend that you guys go to YouTube and type in Kyle Farmer's first major league at bat because it's a 12-minute video that basically breaks down kind of the story, like the story that he told in, in this podcast. He told it even in a little deeper level on the podcast, but it's a great visual to see his journey from being called up until hitting that walk-off hit and ultimately being interviewed on Sports Center that night as well. So make sure you guys share this episode with a friend who is maybe a baseball friend, a baseball fan, maybe a Cincinnati Reds fan, maybe somebody who just loves hearing a good triumphant story that that Kyle shared in here today. I just think it's so powerful to hear how he was able to trust in the process for so long and then finally achieve his goal of being called up before that age of 27 just a couple weeks. And we'll get into that in just a second. But for now, let's get right into my three takeaways. Number one is be comfortable in the uncomfortable. And you guys may have heard that before, but I really think it's important to be intentional about making that a reality in your life. And the way we make that a reality is like Kyle said, is by making it a habit, by intentionally finding ways to put yourself in uncomfortable situations like in the minor leagues he's in uncomfortable situations every single day you never when you're you never know when you're going to get promoted you never know when you're going to get demoted he immediately was drafted as a catcher when he was a shortstop his entire life so he had to completely learn a different position so for six years straight he was consistently put in these uncomfortable situations that it got to the point where it was just commonplace for him and he felt relatively comfortable in it. And that all led up to his his debut in the major leagues. He felt super uncomfortable when stepping into the plate when he saw all those fans and being in the position in the bottom, the 11th down two to one, super uncomfortable, but it almost felt at home to him because he had been so prepared in the uncomfortable for six years straight. So I think that really the big takeaway, the way you guys can start taking action on this is try to find a couple things that make you uncomfortable on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, or on a monthly basis and intentionally intentionally put yourself into those situations. And this is something that I've been trying to do and I've done a few times very intentionally is go to dance class, a hip hop dance class. I've been doing that for a while now, so now I'm not as uncomfortable going, but originally when I was going, I felt super uncomfortable. I went to an improv class, just kind of random things, not even really too random because there are skills that I wanted to develop actually, but be intentional about putting yourself in uncomfortable situations so you can make it a habit. Number two is the importance of the law of attraction. Put your goals out there. I mean, I really loved how we got into this with Kyle and it was such a big, it played a big role in his life in a number of different ways. Like I think it played a huge role in him saying that I'm going to give it until age 27 for this MLB thing. And if I don't make it by 27, then I'll call it quits. And I think it probably had some sort of a a role in him getting there just a couple weeks before he turned 27. He's called up just a few weeks before he was uh, 27, which I think for some reason the universe had a way of conspiring and making that the way it was. And then the other thing was that his coach who his, his hitting coach at the time in, in the minors, Tramel Sledge, had the huge impact on him when he was really sucking it up in the minor leagues. He was struggling. He was hitting like crap. He was like, I was a bad person. I didn't have a good mindset. And after a game, he went and hit in the cage at, um, on, the, on the tee, ball after ball after ball. And then this coach, Tramel Sledge, came in and he said, Kyle, put the bat down. Put the bat down. Nothing's wrong with your swing. And then he said, do you believe that you deserve to be a major league player. And he was like, of course I believe I deserve to be a major league player. And he's like, I don't think you believe. I don't think you believe. He was like, go home and learn about the law of attraction. And luckily Kyle took action on that. And he he watched video after video after video. Like he said, he listened to, I think, Will Smith and Jim Carrey videos talk about the law of attraction. And after that, he started taking a note card and writing the number two on it and looking at it before every single game. And that number each day could mean a little bit something different. Maybe it could be two RBIs today, 
two hits today, whatever it was, make two plays today, whatever it was, and then he got on a hot streak. He started to be on a roll there in double A, and then he got called up into triple A. But the point of the matter is that he, because he put this out there, because he wrote down that two, he started to find a way to make that a reality. No, he probably didn't get two hits or two RBIs every single game, but the more he looked at it and the more he truly believed it and put it out there, the more he, more likely he was to actually make it come true. And then to fast forward, in that same game a few innings prior, Kike Hernandez, one of his teammates, went up to him and literally told him, you're going to win us this game. You're going to win us this ball game. I got the absolute chills when he told me that because that was a part of the story that I had not heard yet. And I think it's so cool that he said that and it all came back to him. He was like, the law of attraction, dang it. The coach, Tramiel Sledge, he had it right. And so that's just been a, such a powerful lesson for him in his life that he's put in, been able to put into action and see great results from. Takeaway number three is to gain something, you have to sacrifice something. And I think that's a lot of us, that's what a lot of us need to realize and be intentional about realizing it in the sense that a lot of us want to get more. We want to achieve more. Achieve more. We want to be more successful. We want to be more fit. We want to get more money. We want to be better in our relationships. All these sorts of things but we don't think about what we're, what we're going to have to give up in order to make that happen. It's like, okay, you want to be more fit? What are you willing to miss out on so that you can wake up tomorrow morning and work out? What food are you willing to skip out on so that you don't gain weight? Okay, you want to get more money. What are you willing to do to put in the extra work that it's going to take? What are you willing to do? How much time are you willing to put in to decide how you're going to save or where you're going to make more money in order to make that goal a reality? Like, There's so many different scenarios and where you want to improve there has to be a sacrifice in something and he learned this in his latest MLB season he was like if I want to be a better baseball player unfortunately I'm going to have to give up some time spending with my wife if I want to be a better husband I'm going to have to give up some time playing some baseball so you have to find a way to balance the priorities and kind of determine when you are willing to sacrifice different things in order to gain whatever it is there is to gain from that sacrifice. So again, guys, my three takeaways. Number one is be comfortable in the uncomfortable. Find a way to make it a habit to intentionally place yourself in uncomfortable situations so that when those situations come forth to you in the future, you are comfortable in that uncomfort. Number two is the law of attraction. Put your goals out there. Put things out into the world because you'll be super surprised at the things that you're willing to do in order to make those things actually happen. Number three, to gain something, you have to sacrifice something. Whether it is you want to be more fit, you want to get more money, you want to be more successful in a relationship, whatever it is that you want to gain in, pick out something that you have to sacrifice in order to make that gain actually come true. I hope you guys enjoyed my three takeaways from Kyle Farmer episode. I hope you guys loved the interview with him himself. Make sure you go follow him on Instagram at Kyle under underscore underscore farmer. And make sure that you stay tuned next MLB season to watch him play for the Cincinnati Reds. He was telling me that they have plans for him to play a lot of different positions, even some potentially outfield. So maybe he hits all nine positions in the MLB, which would be super cool. Uh, but just make sure you guys follow him. Make sure you rate and review the show if you liked it. Make sure you share it with a friend, all that kind of stuff. I hope something in here allows you to get a little bit closer and closer to your best you.